not only is our intuition faulty, it's faulty in systematic and predictable ways. And those ways happen to include stereotyping um, and making personnel decisions in ways that move away from job relevant criteria to stereotypes such as men are good at math and women are good at words. Many organizations will start a sequential search until they see somebody, they'll decide that they like them and hire um, without any explicit comparative process. And that's exactly the context where we think that discrimination is most likely to occur. What I want to highlight is just kind of the strength of the disappearance of gender discrimination. What my colleagues and I would recommend from our research is that not only to be more equitable, but to be more successful and more profitable, that organizations should go out of their way to avoid evaluating people sequentially or one person at a time and to increase the frequency by which they compare multiple people for a job, for a promotion. Um, because our research basically finds that when we evaluate one person, we often use stereotypes that disappear when we move people to think about the comparative merits of two or more people. Basically, the mode of joint decision making or comparing two or more leads to more cognitive, more deliberative thought. And we find that a lot of stereotyping re lies in our more emotive processes, which more commonly occur when we evaluate one person at a time.